All right, so our last one is talking about segments of a circle. A segment of a circle is the region bounded by an arc and a chord. So if we have a sector drawn, like so, and a chord going through that sector, that creates a segment, and the segment is the part that's bounded by the arc and the chord. So to find the area of a segment, what we would do is we would take the area of the full sector, and then we would subtract the area of the triangle, and we would be left with the area of the segment. Now we know how to find the area of a sector, and we do know how to find the area of a triangle. So these are things that we already know how to do. So to find the area of a segment, it utilizes um, concepts that we've already learned. So let's go ahead and start with number 14. It says to find the area of a segment RST. It did not have it drawn in for you. So let's draw that in. We're trying to find the area of this. So what we're going to do is we're going to first start off finding the area of the sector. So I'm dealing with a 90 degree angle, so I do 90 divided by 360, and then times pi r squared, so pi times 4 squared. So a 4 squared is a 16, and a 16 times a 90 is a 1440 pi over 360. And if I do a 1440 divided by 360, I wind up with a 4 pi. I'm going to just leave it like that. It doesn't say whether the area is going to be exact or not, so I'm going to show you both. But I'm going to star this because we're going to use this a little bit later. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually just draw this triangle a little bit larger on the outside of the circle. Okay. So on the circle ST and RS are radii. So those are congruent. So that means RS is going to be 4. And the area formula for a triangle is area is equal to one half base times height. Now it's really actually nice that we're dealing with a right triangle because in a right triangle, your legs are the base and the height. So the four and the four are the base and the height. So we can automatically just right away find the area of this triangle without doing any work whatsoever. So one half times four is a two, and then times another four gives me an area of eight. And so this is another part that we're gonna use to find the area of the segment. So again, it didn't state whether we are going to find the area of the segment in exact format or rounded, so let's do both. So in exact format, what I would do is I would take the area of my sector and subtract the area of my triangle. Now I actually cannot combine these together because the eight does not have a pi attached to it. And then our units are meters, so for area it would be meters squared. So if I asked you for the exact area of the segment, this is what you would give me. If I wanted the rounded version, you would just type in 4 pi minus 8 into your calculator. And then let's round to the nearest hundredth here. A 4.57 meters squared would be the area rounded to the nearest hundredth. Now number 15 is going to be different because we're not dealing with a right triangle. Uh, with right triangles, it's very easy to find the area, but for number 15, we're going to have to do a little more work. 
Um, first, let's start off with the area of the sector. So we are dealing with a 120 degree angle. So 120 over 360 times pi times 9 squared. So 9 squared is an 81, and then times a 120 gives us a 9,720 pi over 360. And if I divide by 360, I get 27 pi. We're going to leave it like that because, again, it doesn't state whether we want it in an exact or rounded form. Um, we're going to do both. Now, the area of the triangle, I'm going to take this triangle and draw it outside of the uh, figure just because it's a little small in that figure. Okay, so the arc is 120, which means that this central angle here, angle N, is also 120. And then MN is a radius, and so is LN, so they're both 9. Now, remember, in the area formula for a triangle, you need your base and your height, which in this case, since it's not a right triangle, um, I don't have my base and my height. My height, I'm going to need to draw in. That's going to be this. And it's going to be perpendicular to my base. And my base is this whole segment here. So I need to find both of those. Now something that's nice is in an isosceles triangle, which this is, the height bisects the angle. So this is going to turn into a 60 degree angle and this is 60 degree angle. Which means that these two triangles are 30, 60, 90 right triangles. And if we're talking about an exact format, that means that we're going to want to use 30, 60, 90 rules. Well, right now we have the hypotenuse of that green right triangle. To get from the hypotenuse to the side across from the 30 degree angle, we need to divide by 2. So my height of this triangle is 9 over 2. To get from that side to the side across from my 60 degree side, or 60 degree angle, I multiply by root 3, so I wind up with 9 root 3 over 2. But that is just half of my base, so the other side of my base is also 9 root 3 over 2, so my whole base is going to be an, uh, an 18 root 3 over 2. So now we're going to get started because I have my base, I have my height. So the area of the triangle is one half times my base times my height. So an 18 root 3 times a 9, or just do the 18 times the 9 part, I get 162 root 3. And in my denominator, a 2 times a 2 times a 2 is an 8. And both uh, 162 and 8 are divisible by 2. A 162 divided by 2 is a 81. And then I leave my root 3 alone. All over an 8 divided by a 2 is a 4. So my area of my triangle is 81 root 3 over 4. So now, if I wanted to write or find the area of the segment, in exact format, I would take the area of my sector minus 
the area of my triangle. It would just need to stay like this. My units are some centimeters squared. The reason why it stays like this is because my 27 pi does not have a root 3 attached to it, and my uh, 81 root 3 over 4 does not have a pi attached to it, so these are not like terms. But then if I asked you rounded to the nearest hundredth, you would just type this into your calculator like so. You would type in 27 pi minus parentheses 81 root 3, close your parentheses twice, divided by 4. And you would wind up with about 49.75 centimeters squared. Now there may be times where your angle um, does not split into like a special right triangle, like a 30, 60, 90, or 45, 45, 90. There may be times that maybe this angle here um, that I'm highlighting in blue is, um, let's say it's 80 degrees. Well, if that was 80 degrees, then this would split into a 40 50, 90 right triangle. And that's not a special right triangle. So in this situation, we would not be able to give an exact area of our segment um, because we would be forced to use trigonometry, sine, cosine, and tangent to help us find the altitude and the base. So keep that in mind as you're practicing these types of problems. All right, that brings us to the end of this lesson. Have a great day.